to discuss about the conditional operators in the next series of videos in a detailed manner. In this video, we will try to explore conditional and operator using some real life examples. So what is a conditional hand operator? If suppose if you have read about the electrical proper uh, in your uh, semesters, you would have knowledge about you would have the knowledge about the and and or gate. So we could relate that and gate with the conditional and operator. So in electricals, uh, in electrical, in in elect in electrical community, and gate is used to and is and gate is used when multiple uh, and gate is used whenever the output needs to be uh, one if multi if all the inputs are uh, equal to one which means all the inputs should be available then only the output would be available so similarly in java we could relate this and gate with the hand operator which means here if there are multiple conditions all the conditions should be true so then only the final output which means final output would be true so we could relate that uh, we could explore that we can explain that uh, condition and using three use cases so this is the first use case a equal to equal to c and b equal to equal to d this is the first use case and the second use case is a equal to equal to c and a equal to equal to d and then b equal to equal to c this is the second condition third condition a equal to equal to c and b equal to equal to c so here in the first use case a equal to 10 10 equal to equal to 10 and b value is 20 d value is also 20 so the first condition output is for sorry true and then second condition output is true so true and true which is so in the second use case a value is 10 and then d value is 20 10 equal to equal to 20 and b value is 20 whereas c value is 10 so first condition is false and second condition also false so final output would be false in the third use case the a value is equal to 10 whereas c value equal to also 10 d value 20 c value 10 the so first condition is true and second condition is false so this is the tricky part in this uh, program so please try to predict the output for this use case so i will give 10 seconds please try to predict the output if you have predicted false then your answer is right the reason behind that is conditional and follows the principle that all the conditions output should be true then only the final output would be true so we will try to evaluate our prediction with the actual machine output so first use case a equal to equal to c and b equal to equal to d so we will try to run the program true true so our first use case exactly matching with the machine output right and then second use case which is a equal to equal to d and then b equal to equal to c if you run this output if we run this program false so uh, second use case also exactly matching with the machine prediction machine output and then third use case which is a equal to equal to c and then b equal to equal to c if we run this program you could see the output false so finally our tricky use case also satisfies with the machine output so finally we have covered this conditional operator hand using some program